Say, Uncle Gloucester, if our brother come, where shall we sojourn till our coronation? Where it seems best unto your royal self. If I may counsel you, some day or two your highness shall repose you at the tower. Then where you please, and shall be thought most fit for your health and recreation. I do not like the tower of any place. Uh, did um, Julius Caesar build that place, my lord? He did, my gracious lord, begin that place, which since succeeding ages have re-edified. <laughs> so wise, so young, they say, do never live long. What say you, uncle? That Julius Caesar was a famous man, with what his valour did enrich his wit. His wit set down to make his valour live. Death makes no conquest of the conqueror, for now he lives in fame, though not in life. And if I live until I be a man, I'll win our ancient right in France again, or die a soldier, as I lived a king. My lord, will it please you pass along? Myself and my good cousin Buckingham will to your mother to entreat of her, to meet you at the tower and welcome you. What? Will we go into the tower, my lord? My lord, protectorate needs will have it so. I shall not sleep in quiet at the tower. Why, what should you fear? Marry my uncle Clarence's angry ghost. My grandam told me he was murdered there. <coughs> but, but, ah, uh, I fear no uncle's dead. Nor none that live, I hope. And if they live, I hope I need not fear. But come, my lord, and with a heavy heart, thinking on them, go I unto the tower. Shall I be plain? I wish the bastard's dead, and I would have it suddenly performed.